the uh, the typical recovery time from a one level X lift is usually in the range of about six to eight weeks. Um, certainly, you're not in the hospital that long. Usually, you're in the hospital one or two days. You're up walking the very next day, but since bone grafts are involved um, and many times a bone fusion is is compared to a healing fracture most healing fractures take about six to eight weeks to heal the same with a, a bone fusion sometimes it takes even longer uh, depending on other factors um, such as the patient's age um, their health uh, so so it may take as long as 12 weeks but I would say in the range of six to 12 weeks for the for a healing of a fusion well I think it's, it's always important for patients to know ahead of time and to understand that that going through the the psoas muscle uh, during the procedure there are certain nerves there that can get stretched um, and there may be a, a a period of thigh numbness or even significant weakness that, that they'll experience afterwards and not to be alarmed if that does occur. I've, uh, I've seen that happen many times and, and it, it always, at least every time I've seen it, it resolves. It may take uh, six weeks or maybe even longer, but in most cases it, it, it resolves uh, faster than that. Uh, the other thing that could uh, happen is that um, if, the, if a patient has soft bones or osteoporosis, the uh, cages may sink into the vertebra a little bit, and if it sinks enough or shifts, it may require a, 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 a second surgery later to put in stabilizing rods and screws. Um, but uh, that doesn't happen in every case, but, but it could happen, and it's just something to be aware of. Well, um, there's several, the, the way I decide which uh, side that I go in for the lateral procedure is based on uh, preoperative x-rays, um, the level of the rim of the pelvis. Um, if it appears to be higher on one side, I, I would go on another side. Also, if there's a, um, a curvature in the spine or a scoliosis, uh, typically, um, you would want to go in uh, on the side of the uh, concavity or the the side on the inside of the curve. Um, so it depends, and, or, and sometimes uh, depending on the angle of the disc. If the disc is uh, angled a certain way, um, it, it may be easier or better to go in from one side versus the other. I am constantly striving to uh, develop new proceed or to and to adopt new procedures uh, that are that are uh, less invasive that are um, less disruptive less risky and that have very high success rates so I'm, I'm very pleased that that we currently have x lift technology and I'm I'm excited about uh, uh, what new technologies they're in store for the future um, that's one thing that's very exciting about Spine right now is that every year there's, there's a, a new technology or advancement. But uh, I definitely want to do things in the safest way possible for patients. Um, and uh, uh, again, uh, XLIF uh, I think is, is a, uh, a very safe, effective procedure with, with low risk, low infection rate. And I'm glad that I'm able to offer it to my patients.